Okay, here's a quick video on fixing deep paint scratches. Not the kind that you can sand out of the clear coat, but the ones that actually cut through the paint to the primer or base metal is if you've wronged someone who has a really sharp key. I need this door panel for a little black Jetta I bought at auction, and it's got two of these type scratches, so I'll use this to show you the best way I've found to fix these. Here's the touch-up kit we'll be using. We will not use this as directed because we're not going for the look of slopping nail polish over a scratch. For about $17 though, you do get matching paint and clear coat. The clear coat is what we'll be using most in this repair. First, just use the brush to paint in the color. I'm assuming you've already cleaned out the scratch before you started. If you have any rust, the kit does come with a little scraping tip that will help you get that out. We're not concerned with making it look great in this step. Just cover anything that isn't the color of your car. I'm using 2000 grit wet sandpaper that's been soaking in water for a while so it's not stiff. It's a good idea to use plenty of water to keep the surface free of grit. It's a bad idea to drop your sprayer in the dirt that'll probably end up contaminating your work. So let's pretend that didn't happen. Sand lightly over the scratches just until the paint you just applied is only within the scratch. When you're finished removing the overlapping paint, it's time to actually fill the scratches with clear coat. The Duplicolor product has a nice applicator for dabbing clear coat into the scratch. Just fill each one two to three times, waiting about 30 minutes between coats. We want it filled enough that we'll be able to cut down into the clear coat and make a level surface without having to remove too much material. Okay, let's let this cure for a few hours. Alright, this is cured and ready to wet sand again. I'm using 2000 grit again. Clear coat is pretty thick, so you should have some room to work. If your scratch doesn't begin to disappear fairly quickly though, it's probably still too deep. You'll need to stop and fill it with the clear again. Be sure to wipe and check often to make sure you're not going deeper than you need to. Alright, at this point we no longer have scratches, we just need to fix the finish where we've sanded. I'll be using a 3000 grit pad next. Use a little more pressure with this one. We'll spread this out over a larger area to blend everything in. Now we'll use compound to get rid of the sanding scratches. Just a little dab. Start off slow so we don't spin it all off. And that's it. We're done. I'll compound and polish the rest of the fender to get rid of the little scuffs and it'll be ready to put back on the car. I hope this was helpful. If you like, like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.